Hello everyone. Welcome to our Cypress test automation video. Uh, so in this uh, in this video, I am going to talk about some of the best practices that we all should follow. And in this video, um, so let's start with the uh, page object model design pattern, which is quite popular in the market. And uh, also, it is controversial when uh, when you use this design pattern with this Cypress test automation tool. Why? Because uh, the Cypress team. Uh, or you can say the Cypress developers, they say uh, this design pattern is anti-pattern and they strongly recommend not to use this uh, design pattern. But there are some approaches, uh, there are some ways to use this uh, page object model design pattern in an effective way so that your, your logic will not, your page object model design pattern logic will not impact the uh, Cypress internal async queue logic, right? So let's understand the uh, anti-pattern approach first, and then we'll see. Then we will see like how you can uh, implement the uh, page object model with the uh, effective way. So as you can see, this example. Uh, in this example, what I'm trying to say is, uh, I I have this test should be able to log in. So here, what I'm saying, okay, first navigate to this application, then create the uh, login page instance, and then with help of that instance access the methods which are defined under this login page class. Okay, so if I'll show you the login page class, so in login page class, what uh, we do, we are doing here, we are directly exporting this class uh, login page. And inside this, we have this public function, which will do the actions on this login page. Okay. So the common mistake we are doing here is, uh, that we are basically import, uh, we are first importing the reference of this login page, and then we are create once we are navigating navigated to this uh, this uh, application, we then we are creating this login page instance, right? And after that, we are performing the actions on that login page. So, but what will happen when Cypress will run this script? Cypress will will execute this command, and this uh, command is asynchronous. So, uh, so what Cypress will do? It will Cypress will put this command in a task queue. Okay, so that task queue queue will be executed by Cypress, so that uh, your automation script will be executed in a sequential manner. Okay. So in code, we are saying first navigate to this application and then create the login page instance. But in reality, what is happening? It is uh, putting so this uh, visit command is uh, getting executed later uh, first this login page instance is getting created right so this will create some uh, some sort of silly uh, side effects silly side effects like you will get some uh, undefined error that's why this approach is the anti pattern approach uh, and you should not use this uh, logic uh, in your cypress test automation if you are using this uh, page of that model design pattern means never uh, ever try to initialize the page object in the test level, right? And not even try to use this, uh, like uh, don't even try to use this then keywords. Like if you, uh, there is way to create this, uh, this uh, page instance after uh, navigating to this application. So how we, you can create this, you can use this then keyword, but what will happen? It will create uh, some kind of complex code Okay, so now if you'll see, now this code will work the way uh, we want uh, to execute. Means first it will navigate to this application, then it will create the page instance. But what will happen? But suppose if you are dealing with the multiple pages, if you want to navigate to the multiple pages, then what will happen? It then you have to create a multiple then keywords here. Like here after this, then login page. After clicking on this login, then again we have to use the then keyword. And then in then keyword again, we have to uh, perform, uh, then we have to create a, another a page instance here like this. So this will make your code a lot difficult to understand for the new, uh, for the other developers, for the other uh, QAs. So that's why uh, this is also not recommended because it will create a high maintenance cost for your test automation framework, right? So I'm going to suggest the easy way, uh, the easy way by which you can uh, effectively use this page object model design pattern with the, um, with this Cypress, okay. So 
instead what you can do is uh, instead of exporting the class you can directly export the object of this class like this so first you need to create so for example you can create uh, so the, i have this register page class and inside this i have this public function which are performing the public uh, some uh, actions on the uh, web browser with the help of this uh, cypress command right so i have this register page here and then i at the end i'm just directly exporting this um, register page object okay and in test layer what i can do is i can directly uh, import this register page in uh, object from this register page class and with the help of this register page i can directly access the uh, access the uh pub the public functions which are defined under this page class right so if 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 cypress will uh, execute this script then what it will do it will put this uh, visit in the task queue then it will go this here and then again it will uh, put this uh, the task which are defined under this visit function uh, in it again in the task queue because in uh, one thing always remember so whenever you are creating the public function inside the page class always use this uh, commands uh, cy okay so whatever commands that you are write uh, with this uh, cy prefix okay so whatever commands you will write so those commands will uh, automatically put inside this task queue and that task queue will be executed later by the cypress to to make just to execute your test step in a sequential manner right so that's why Uh, it is recommended. It is very important to uh, use this cy command inside this register uh, in the public functions. Okay, and uh, if you have some some custom functions, if you want to write some custom logic to mm -hmm. handle the file, if you have some custom functions you which you want to write, uh, you want to use uh, to write some JSON files or read some JSON file or do some any any sort of action. so what you can do is you can put those uh, commands in the uh, cypress um, the command file which cypress provides so if you go inside this command.ts file and add your custom command here and the with and then with the help of this uh, cy you can access that command and it will make sure that your command will be executed in the sequential manner so this is how you can effectively uh, effectively use this page object um, Design pattern with your Cypress test automation tool. All just remember, just don't try to uh, initialize the page objects directly in the test layer. It will create uh, definitely it will, it will create some side effects uh, when you use the scripts like this. Yeah. So this is one of the uh, best practice that I wanted to re uh, recommend. Uh, and uh, in the next video, we are going to see some other uh, best practices. like um, how to avoid hard coding of weight and uh, hard coding of the urls how you can make sure that your test case is stable in the pipeline so i'm going to talk about those topics in the upcoming videos